Butterfly Life Cycle. Written by Jeff Bauer. As you can see, this book has some great text features. Let's start with the table of contents. It tells us what each chapter is called and what page to find it on. We also have a glossary in this book as well. So stay tuned for the glossary and a little comprehension question game at the end. Chapter one, all about butterflies. Look, it's a butterfly. This book will tell you about the lives of these beautiful bugs. Butterflies are insects. They have six legs, just like ants, grasshoppers, and ladybugs. Butterfly parts. Butterflies have four wings. Each wing is covered with thousands of tiny scales. The scales give butterfly wings their bright colors. Butterflies drink their meals through a thin tube called a proboscis. Their favorite meal is nectar, which they suck up from the flowers. Let's take a look at the close-ups. The one on the top says the scales of a wing look like this close up. And a proboscis looks like this close up. Fast fact. There are 17,500 kinds of butterflies. How do you think the ones here got their names? You've got the tiger butterfly, a peacock butterfly, an emerald butterfly, an 89 butterfly, an owl butterfly, a zebra swallowtail butterfly, and a glasswing butterfly. Butterflies come in all different colors. Some have spots, some have stripes. Some seem like they have painted wings. But butterflies do not begin their lives looking this way. Let's take a peek into the life cycle of a monarch to see how they grow and change. Chapter two, egg to caterpillar. Here's another fast fact. Some butterflies lay more than 1,000 eggs during their lives. A female monarch lays an egg on a leaf. The egg is tiny. One egg is about the size of a period at the end of this sentence. After a few days, the egg hatches. Out wiggles a hungry caterpillar. First, the caterpillar eats its own eggshell. Then, it starts munching leaves. Newborn caterpillars look like this. Monarch caterpillars only eat milkweed plants. Crunch, crunch, crunch. The caterpillar keeps eating and growing and changing. It starts out small and white, but soon it becomes long and covered with colorful stripes. After about two weeks, the caterpillar takes a rest. It attaches to a twig or leaf and hangs upside down. Something amazing is about to happen. Here's another fast fact. Monarch caterpillars have 16 little legs. Chapter three. Chrysalis to butterfly. The caterpillar becomes a wrapped up package called a chrysalis. Inside the package, exciting changes are taking place. The chrysalis turns from green to clear. Presto changeo, the caterpillar has become a butterfly. Here's a fast fact. A chrysalis protects a caterpillar as it changes into a butterfly. Guess what happens next? The butterfly breaks out of the chrysalis. Then it unfolds its wings, which are soft and damp. The brand new butterfly waits in the sun for its wings to dry. Then flutter, flutter, away it flies. Monarchs flap their wings five to 12 times a second. Life cycle review. Do you remember the four main steps in a monarch butterfly's life cycle? Take a look. On day one, the female butterfly lays an egg on a leaf. By four days, a caterpillar hatches and it grows and grows. When it's about two weeks old, a caterpillar becomes a chrysalis. Then when it's about one month old, a butterfly breaks out of the chrysalis. The life cycle of a monarch butterfly lasts for about one month. Chapter four. All grown up. Monarchs travel in big groups called flocks. In fall, monarch butterflies do what birds do. 
they fly south for the winter. This is called migration. Some monarchs go to California, and some go to Mexico. Along the way, they rest in trees. This map shows where monarchs migrate. Some travel 3,000 miles. Here's our last fast fact. Monarchs are poisonous to birds and other animals. Their bright wings say, don't eat me. In early spring, the monarchs fly back north. A female lays an egg on a leaf. Then the butterfly life cycle will begin all over again. As you can see, we've reached the glossary. It tells us the definitions of the keywords or words in bold we saw earlier in the book, like chrysalis or nectar. Now let's play our little comprehension question game to see what you remembered from the story. Then we'll read the bonus butterfly facts when we're done. Let's start with the first question. Can you name three parts of a butterfly? If you said wing, antenna, eye, or body, you were right. And you'll get an extra point if you said proboscis. Let's go on to the next question. Can you share three facts about caterpillars? Here are some facts you could have said. A caterpillar eats its own eggshell. Caterpillars munch on leaves. And after two weeks of eating, it takes a rest by attaching to a twig or leaf upside down. Only two more questions to go. Can you retell the four main parts of a butterfly's life cycle? If you said egg, caterpillar, chrysalis, then butterfly, you are absolutely right. On to the last question. Can you think of four words to describe a butterfly? There are so many you could have chosen. I chose colorful, beautiful, small, and delicate. What other adjectives can you think of? Now let's read those bonus butterfly facts. Butterflies use their antenna to smell. Butterflies use their feet to taste. And Queen Alexandria's birdwing is the largest butterfly. It measures nearly a foot with its wing spread. 